always experiencing hatred wherever you go? Or are you the type that whenever you did something good to somebody, they would return it back with evil? Or are you the type that always, no matter how you try to please people, they will never appreciate you. Rather, they will turn it to bad thing to you and all that. Do you know that this thing can be as a result of spiritual death in your body? Or it can be a spiritual thing that has been causing this in your life. So stay tuned today while I share with you another natural way you can remove or you will use to remove hatred, disappointment, failure and disfavored acts of your life. And from today henceforth, you start experiencing good things from people. So if you want to know more about this recipe, how to go about it, how to prepare it and exactly when to use it, please do keep watching while I share with you. Good morning to you all, good afternoon and good evening. I'm greeting you all depend on wherever you are watching me from. And exactly when you see this video, if you are new in my channel, thank you for joining. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. So in case if you are joining me for the first time, my name is Promi. So in this channel, I share mostly about the health tips and spiritual tips. How to use natural things, the thing that we eat, the thing we use in the kitchen, the thing that we have access to, to get rid of this and also to get solutions to life. So stay tuned and I promise you, you are not going to regret it. So guys, like I said earlier, if you are the type that whenever you go out, wherever you go out, without you offending anybody, even when you are trying to please people, when you are trying all your possible best, your possible best to make people to feel at home, yet they will return it to evil. Or are you the type that you can give your life to people, like you can do anything to your friends, to your family, to your loved ones, and, and the, at the end, they will return everything back to you with evil. Or are you the type that whenever you go out, you don't attract good things to yourself, you always come back with backstory, you always come back with negative energy. Please try this recipe. Also, if you are the type that always experiencing failure, today, since is moving, tomorrow everything is going down, or people will promise you heaven and earth and you carry all your mind or you put all your mind on that particular thing, looking out to it, that particular thing will not happen. Please try this recipe. Why I'm pointing all these things now is for you to know exactly the one you are going through and how to go about this recipe. And by the grace of God Almighty, all those experiences will be a thing of the past. So guys, in doing this particular thing, it's just natural things. But if you can get access, if you can get all these things and try this particular recipe, believe you me, you will not experience that again. Number one item you need in doing this thing is bitter leaf. Alright? So when you get a bitter leaf, another thing you need to get again is original honey. Alright? Now when you get original honey, you get sugar. Okay, you get sugar. You can get cube of sugar, you can get powdered sugar. Then another thing you'll be needing again is salt. Sea salt, I mean. I mean sea salt. Please always get this sea salt in your home. It's just natural salt. Some people even use this salt for cooking. So it's just natural, but it has a lot of spiritual benefit. It works very fast because it's just a natural salt that has not been mixed, that has not been go through chemicals and all that. So that is what differentiates it from your normal salt, okay? Now, you need sea salt, you need bitter leaf, you need original honey, and you need sugar. Then another thing you need is a sand, all right? So you can pack a sand in your house, outside your house, or anywhere. Anywhere you pack your sand is fine. Now, this is how to go about this recipe. Now, you are going to be doing this exactly by 12 o'clock a.m. That is midnight, all right? Now, this midnight is between day and night, right? So that is, that is exactly the time you need to do this. Now, when you get that particular time, now you're going to go into your bedroom, bring a bucket of water. Firstly, you get first water. Now, that first water, you're going to get this bitter leaf. If you can get it with a stick, fine. Now, you are going to firstly use this bitter leaf to be scrubbing your body, okay? Firstly, please pay attention so that you will get a perfect result. Firstly, you are going to use the bitter leaf as a sponge and start scrubbing your body. Like, don't use the one that's already washed. Get it the way it is, very raw, all right? If you can get it fresh one, fine. If you are living where you cannot get a fresh one, get a dry one, is fine, okay? 
Now you are going to first start using the bitter leaf to scrub your body. Make sure you scrub from up to down. Pray, oh God, anything bitterness in my life, whatever spiritual bitterness, whatever spiritual failure, spiritual hatred, spiritual backwardness rising and falling in my life, all these things are bitter. Because in a situation whereby you're supposed to have achieved something and you're not achieving it, it's just a bitter experience. Your your age mate, all of them have gotten married, they have had their children. You you are start, you're still struggling to have to get it to get married, not even having children, is a bitter experience. So anything you are going in life, everything you are going through in life, as a result of delay, all these things is a bitter experience. So that is why you are using the bitter leaf at the moment. And pray to God, oh God, as I'm using this bitter leaf to scrub my body, whatever bitterness in my life, today I am removing it out of my life. Please do this with faith. It works like magic. Now, after you've done that, start from your head to your toe or from your face to your toe. Then after that, you are going to use that first water you use with the bitter leaf and wash your body. Then after that, hold on for a while. Then you get that particular moment after you've done washing that bitter leaf uh, using the water you brought at the falls to wash out the bitter leaf. Now get a fresh water. When you get a fresh water, now add three tablespoons of original honey. Please, original honey. All right. Now when you add the honey, you add three cube sugar. If you are using cube sugar, if you are not using cube sugar, use three tablespoons of powdered sugar. Okay, now I get three pieces of sea salt. You see the reason why I asked you to get sea salt, countable sea salt is very, very important. Okay, now put three pieces of sea salt inside the same water, then put your right middle finger inside and pray. Tell God, oh God, ah, this water is full of sweet things. As I am betting this water tonight, all right. Sorry, you are going to put the sand, you are putting the sand when you put the bitter leaf i'm sorry so that sand you put it when you put the bitter leaf. so that water you want to use to wash that bitter leaf is whenever is where you are putting the sand you are also praying that anything that you have been going through as a result of man or spirit every human being step on the sand even spirit they live on the sand so therefore wherever the forces are coming from whatever the evil experiences are coming from whether it's from spirit or whether it's from human or that that is what that sand is signifying in that water your first water will be five leaf then you are washing them out of your life then after you get new water we should add all these sweet things i mentioned i mentioned original honey cube of sugar or powdered sugar and three pieces of sea salt okay now put it inside that water put your right middle finger and begin to pray inside the water that as this water is full of sweet things from today henceforth everything about your life will become sweet whatever that you thought you will turn to sweetness wherever your foot is going to step on will be a sweet place all right so you you are going to pray on that water then after that you use that water and start betting yourself you can use your normal sponge if you care but if you don't care just use only the water bet on your body and please after that don't clean your body with towel allow the water to dry on your body do this particular recipe by 12 a.m midnight three days and you are going to see that everything that you are experiencing before will really go will really be a thing of the past it's very very effective and they are all natural let me tell you my dear don't give up in life as far as there is life as far as you are alive there is a solution to your problem keep trying keep praying to god keep believing in yourself don't give up on yourself the only time you fail in life the, the time that you give up on yourself the time that you felt that i am not going to achieve that is when you fail but as far as you are very how do you keep speaking positive in your life keep trying Definitely one day you will meet your salvation. So I wish you success if you're experiencing all this that I mentioned. Try this method and believe you me. By God's grace, it all will be over and you will become successful in life. So I wish you success and I wish you good luck as you go ahead in doing this. Please don't forget to pray whenever you are doing all these things. Prayer is the key. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe and share and see you in my next video. Stay blessed.